Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to make a rather simple part, but a specific part. So one of the things that I do is I also produce another channel called On Photography, where I focus on affordable photography, if you will. And one of the things I'm doing is I'm adapting a C-mount um, fisheye lens to my Micro Four Thirds camera. And I'm not going to get into all the details, but I need to create a preci or precision, I'll spit that out, shim, to make this all fit. And this is where 3D printing is going to help me do that, because I need it to be a specific uh, depth, so I get the right depth of focus between the lens and the uh, a camera or the sensor of the camera and still be able to work my um, aperture. So I'm not going to get into the details of that, but I thought this was really kind of a handy thing to show how something very simple could be rapidly produced in 3D printing to solve a specific functional need. So let's jump into this real quick. So I've already measured up my lens components and so I'm going to bring a cylinder onto the workplace and then I'm going to make this 31.2 millimeters which is going to be the offset uh, depth for the lens. Um, you'll see kind of what I'm getting at when I go to the bench. And so we got this set up. Now I'm going to drop this to 0.75 millimeters because I just needed to shim it out a little bit. I want some nice sides so I'm going to go up to 64. Now I'm going to bring a cylinder in here uh, as a whole and I'm going to make this 24.9 and then I'm going to go 24.9 and then I'm going to kind of bring these together and do the align and then boom, boom. Uh, yeah, the boom, boom is sort of uh, sound effects. Uh, I want this to be pretty clean, so I'm going to also pop this one up to 64. I should have did that before the align, but I'm sure that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push this down. And eh, just for grins and giggles, I just want to double check my align. I don't think that should have changed it. It didn't. And then I'm going to now go ahead, hit this, join these together. And now I have my precision spacer. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'll tell you what, this is going to be boring to watch print. I'm going to skip the time lapse on this for you guys. And we're going to head right over to the bench. And I'm going to show you how this helped solve my problem in just a matter of minutes. So see you over at the bench. Okay, so we're back here at the bench. We printed it. It's only like about four minutes to print. Crazy fast. Here we have the lens. Here we have the precision shim and it just slips over here and I designed it to actually go on this lip and then what happens is we take this uh, C-mount to four-thirds adapter and we just simply screw this on now and what happens is this provides just enough offset where I can still work the shutter or sorry not the shutter actually the apertures and uh, I get the right depth of field to the um, sensor on the camera. I'm going to use this on my Yi camera. And, and again, this was a very simple uh, demonstration of how you can use 3D printing in a practical sense. So uh, since this has got some uh, pretty tight threads and a lot of threads, I wasn't worried about using black for light blocking because there really aren't any, are going to be any light leaks. But again, uh, real simple application of Tinkercad for a very uh, practical purpose. And again, how quick you can do it. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, you know know how it works. Give it a thumbs up. Swag shop up there. And hey, uh, don't forget to subscribe button. Put out regular content. And also, if you guys have any ideas for something to design up, hit me up in the comments below. Always happy to hear. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Yeah.